Monakam, good morning. In this video, we are going to discuss about the Graves disease. Graves disease is the most common cause of the hyperthyroidism. It is the autoimmune disease. For the normal people, TSH bind with the TSH receptors, it secretes the thyroid hormone. In the Graves disease, thyroid stimulating antibodies are produced. Thyroid stimulating antibodies are produced. It is bind with the DSH receptors. It produces the more amount of the thyroid hormone because the thyroid stimulating autoantibodies half life is more than the thyroid stimulating autoantibodies act long time compared to the TSH. It produces more amount of the thyroid hormone in spite of the low TSH. TSH level is very less in the Graves disease. The hypersecretion of the thyroid hormone. These are the main feature of the Graves disease. Graves disease is the most important cause of the hyperthyroidism. It is an autoimmune disease. The antibody forms against the TSH receptors. That antibody is thyroid stimulating autoantibody. So it produces a hypersecretion of the thyroid hormone. Graves disease have the similar clinical features of the hyperthyroidism like increased vessel metabolic rate, increased sleeping pulse rate, increased systolic blood pressure, increased shorting, increased tremor. It has the important features of thyroid ophthalmopathy. It is mainly to do the more production of the cytokine mainly interferon, tumor necrosis factor, interleukin-1. It activates the fibroplast activation, increase synthesis of the glycosaminoglycans. So it produces the exophthalmus. Another important feature is the free TPL mixedema. It is seen in the 5% of the Graves disease. It is due to the accumulation of the hyaluronic acids. It's mainly seen in the anterior or lateral aspect of the lower leg. It is orange skin appearance. The non-inflamed indurated plaque seen in the anterior lateral aspect of the lower leg. It has the nodular involvement. Another feature is the thyroid acropathy. That means form of clipping found in the 1% of the patients with the Graves disease. That is thyroid acropathy. So, the Graves disease, we can expect the thyroid ophthalmopathy, pre-tibial myxedema, thyroid acropathy. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, press the like button, share your friends. Those who are not subscribed to this channel, please subscribe. These videos briefly discuss the physiology topics. You must read the physiology textbooks. Thank you once again.